o'clock, the Supreme Court moved to allow the federal government to regulate the sale of ghost gun kits, granting the Biden administration's request to allow the regulation to remain in effect while some legal challenges play out. Last year, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives updated its regulations to define the kits as firearms so the government could better track them. Today in Hartford, local leaders are calling for harsher restrictions. Anytime a frame or receiver or any kit is sold, the parts have to have serial numbers. Number two, there have to be background checks on the purchaser. Number three, the manufacturer has to be licensed. Critics say the kits are attractive to people who are not legally allowed to buy guns. A